I just caught it as it was leaving. Oh God. I literally came in on the rear car, so I'm gonna go car by car to the front. And unlike the R44s, we got five cars as opposed to four. So, this is gonna be an interesting video. <laughs> and I'm on the local instead of the express, so, oh well. It still has that new train smell. Which, no lie, there's literally a smell. And there's not too many accessible stations on Staten Island, so you're really going to hear that announcement. Alright, let me jump over to the next car. Now in the third car, I had time. Part of this video is going to be me taking the trip, but it's also going to be me looking around at, um, like, what's different about the R211s on Staten Island compared to the rest of the rolling stock. So far, not that big of a difference. If you take in the ones without the open gangways, they're pretty much the same. I'm sure there are some rail fans that will comment below some of the distinct differences about the R211S, which is what I'm currently taking. This is Stapleton. Transfer is available to the S-14, S-15, and S-16 stations. Please proceed to the next stop. If I could get to the lead car, great. And bro, these are like the cleanest I'll ever see these windows. <laughs> so, this is awesome. So, either way, I'm finally taking the yard to a little Oh wait, hold up. The, the seats that I was mentioning about earlier, like, they're basically the same thing. No way. To literally see out the front. Oh, I see another set. 
Well done. So now we got two R211s. Transfer is available to the F51 bus. Okay. I'm happy. <laughs> we getting more R211s, baby. Fun fact, I'm not the only rail fan on this car <laughs> right now. Yeah, because I've been able to see the trip on a few other channels, like like Louis Seferino, seen it on his channel. Um, I think tech, I think Techno had something, and I wouldn't be surprised if Kate said 8110 and Fan Railer comes out with something, but who knows. check this out so because um, I guess I'm guessing like they do like a circle for um, for the side and like a diamond if it's express but yeah like they try to improvise as best as they can with certain things to add to the railway experience but I don't know like, it's 50-50 for me. I will say this, because already the Staten Island Railway is outside as opposed to in the tunnels and everything, it's already a brighter vibe and everything, because we don't have to deal with too much of the LEDs and stuff, which is why we're often more depressed when we take the subway. Going back, this becomes an express. This is Glassmere. Transfer is available to the S53 bus. faces. only R211 in revenue service right now and we're just going to be seeing a bunch of R44s. say I do like that they mentioned the transfer to the buses. That's something I wish they could do on a regular subway.
And I would like to apologize for the clickbait or at the beginning of this video for um, sponsoring my new book, Imagination in Space, but I'm still getting it on Amazon Kindle for 99 cents uh, up until January when the price goes up to $2.99. I'm going to be saying that a few times until January. Duncan Hill. This is an accessible station. The ramp is the front of the platform. Ramps are better <laughs> than elevators. I accidentally stopped the video. Now we're back. So, yeah, there's just going to be a few workers, it's uh, likely just going to be here for a while, so something we're going to have to deal with for now. I will say this, I thought by the time the R211s would come to Staten Island, I would have moved out of Staten Island, but I'm shocked. You gotta stop saying I'll do it. That took about 30 seconds. Like, I I haven't really recorded it, but it, there's actually some uh, echo or feedback from the announcements. It's weird. If the doors open on the other side, I'll I'll keep the camera going so y'all can hear it. Door. 
Transfer is available to the S57 and S76 buses. This is an accessible station. The elevator is at the rear of the platform. This is a Pottenville bound local train. The next stop is Oakwood Heights. Now here, Charlie. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. That was someone else. <laughs> Yeah, I wish the font size wasn't too big for the announcements, so we could at least see everything in one shot. Yeah, this this has been my critique since day one on the R two Elevens. The font is like way too big on the um, thing and stuff. And not to mention, it's shown more than necessary. It's simplified on path trains. I will say that. that sitting or lying down on the floor, platform, stairs, or landing isn't permitted in MT facilities. Please don't block the movement of others or take up more than one seat. If you do any of these actions, you could be fined, receive a civil penalty, or be asked to leave the premises. Never heard that before. Now that I didn't have my camera running, you hear Charlie's echo. Come on.
Transfer is available to the S54 bus. This is an accessible station. The ramp is at the center of the platform. Again, ramps are better. I wish they could also tell transfers to the express bus. since taking the R211S comment below. Have y'all heard the echo and feedback? Because it's driving me crazy that I'm not catching it. this car with him. Uh, literally what my dad had to deal with before he retired from the Long Island Railroad two years ago. Oh, which his last train is available on this channel. I'll put the link in the description.
transfer is available to the F-55 bus. Kids right here. I don't want to catch them on camera. Honestly, this is one of my favorite stations. I think the train going back is a local. I'm looking at the sign signage. So, no express for me today. One drawback to the five cars setup. This is Pleasant Plains. Transfer is available to the S fifty five bus. <laughs> No, the next stop is one of my favorites because of the artwork. Like, if y'all follow me on Instagram at DJ underscore underscore art gallery, like, you'll know why. But, literally my favorite Instagram page.
Valley. Again, the artwork here is just awesome. But seriously, follow me on Instagram at Dream Journal Art Gallery. This is literally my favorite station on the entire railway. One, free parking. Two, like, just everything about this station is just awesome. The next and last stop is Cottonville. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. I didn't drive over here. I I took the bus to St. George and then, you know, just got right on the train. I literally was jumping on the train right before it left and stuff. That's how crazy this was. Uh, it's because I saw it on the platform. This I was like, no way. If you litter or throw objects on a platform, train, or anywhere else on that island railway, you can be fined, receive a civil penalty, or be asked to leave the concept. Like, I will say this, I hope the R211s maintain cleanliness over time. Because, because the stand on railway just in general is just awesome. Like the outdoor vibes, it's it's literally the vibes that I get that I had as a kid taking the Long Island Railroad with my dad. And, but the bright side is, depending on where you exit and leave, you get to ride the train for free. This is Pottonville. Transfer is available to the S seventy eight bus. This is an accessible station. The ramp is at the front of the platform. Basically approaching the block and stuff. Okay, so it's not like the LIR. I'm guessing the conductor is not going inside the cab. Either way, that's that. I mean, not the conductor, the brakeman. So, I'm gonna take the same train back. 
if it's not uploaded yet, I'm sorry. I'm really trying to do my best. But either way, you're welcome to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Getting close to a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to reach a thousand before 2024 is out. So basically, again, just subscribe to the channel and you know, just all together. Thanks for thanks for watching. Okay, so I was wondering if the announcement would change, and I was right. But, all together, that's it. <laughs>